we will complete the op mode that we started in part one with the functions that we've created for problems one and two. Now let's write our sequential steps for the maze before creating the op mode. This list gives us all the essential steps to decide the order of the functions we've created. Now let's complete the op mode. In part one, we added the function init imu. Our next step will be to wait for start. Go to miscellaneous to create the comment. Wait for a driver to press start button. The if do block will bracket the rest of the functions. Place the function sequentially beneath put run blocks here block. Let's start with problem one. We want to move 24 inches. Write a comment with the calculation move 24 equals 1.9 revolutions of the 4 inch diameter wheel. Then place the function move to position with target position under the comment. Go to the math category to select the multiplication block and connect it to the function. Enter 1.9 in the first field and 1,440 in the second field. The reason we use 1,440 is because the motor's encoder generates 1,440 ticks for every rotation. Our next step can also be a comment. Go to miscellaneous and type turn CCW till Z orientation is 90 degrees. Then select the rotate CCW with target orientation angle. Place under the CCW comment. Go to the math category, select a value, and connect it to the CCW function. Change the value to 80. We use 80 instead of 90 because the robot's momentum will keep it rotating a bit after 80 degrees is reached. Write a comment for the next step. Move 20 inches equals 1.6 revolutions of the 4 inch diameter wheel. We are solving problem number one again with a different distance traveled. Now. Select the function for move to position with target position. Place under the comment. Then select the math block for multiplication. Type 1.6 in the first field and 1440 in the second field. Now we are solving for our second problem, rotating the robot. Write a comment, turn CW till the Z orientation is back to zero degrees. This time, we need to select the clockwise function. Rotate CW with target orientation angle. Then go to the math category to select a value. Connect to the function and change to 10. Again, the reason we use 10 instead of zero is because of the robot's momentum, which will keep it turning a bit after it reaches 10 degrees. Now we have one more segment to drive straight and the op mode is complete. Type a comment, move 36 inches equals 2.9 revolutions of the 4 inch wheel. Select the move to position function with target position, place below the comment. Then add the multiplication math block. In the first field, type 2.9, then 1440 in the second field. Here's the completed op mode. Let's double check the steps, then save op mode. Now it's time to watch the robot. Go to the driver station, select the op mode, then in it, then play. Wow, we've solved problems one and two and completed the maze. I feel very accomplished. Thanks for watching and don't forget to join us next time. And until then, goodbye everyone. everyone.